Hello and welcome back to my workbench. Today we have something else to work on. Let me get it out of this box. Okay, I didn't know it was wrapped up this much. There we go. We have a very tough bag. All right. Nintendo Switch Lite. Bright yellow. And this thing is not supposed to be turning on at all. It does come with the power supply, which is always good. Hopefully that works. And here is our switch light. That looks to be in really good condition as far as the controls, the you know the, the, the joysticks, the buttons, the screens got some smudges, but I don't really see any scratches. Maybe one right there in the middle. I mean, looks great. The corners aren't beat up. So yeah, this is not supposed to be working at all. Um, I'll hit the power button just for the heck of it. Nope. So, the first thing, of course, I would like to do is look down in this uh, charging port before I go plugging anything in there. And let's just see if we have any mangled pins. All right, I've got the microscope set up where we can look down in this port. See what we can see. Hmm. Zoom on in here. Yeah, I think I see. Uh, yep. We have uh, at least two pins there rolled back. See them down in there, just folded up. All right. That's one side. Let's look at the other side. See what we can see. Oh yeah, at least two pins there folded back. I'm trying to make sure I get the get this in focus for you. There you go. You can see those pretty well. Two pins there folded back. The others look okay. So we need a port. I don't remember what those pins are off the top of my head, but they're I'm sure they're important. So let's get this thing apart, and uh, we'll pull the port and see if we have any shorts going on. This thing looks really clean inside. I mean, I don't. I don't believe anyone's been in it. I don't really see any fingerprints. Um, don't really see any liquid damage signs right now. Very clean inside. That gives me hope that this is hopefully just a simple repair. Yeah, looks very nice.
right, so we got the board all out. Now I have not worked on one of these in quite a while. So of course there is no uh, Pi 3 USB chip on here to go bad. There is an M92. I see. If I can remember where it is. Oh, okay, right over here. Because it looks like uh, M92, and here's the BQ, you know, charging I see. Uh, I think it's time. Let's switch to the microscope view. Get a little better view of this. Here's our old friend M92. Let's just do some checks around there because this chip likes to die whenever you have pins that have shorted together in that uh, USB-C socket. I didn't really see any that had been twisted together. I just saw some that were folded back. So maybe we haven't done any damage to this chip. But I would like to know that before I throw another port on there and start applying power to it. Uh, okay, I get ground over here on the uh, where the connector is, the USB-C connector. And not shorted. Should be ground here. Ground, ground. And I think ground here. Yeah. So that should not be grounded. And it's not. That is not. That is not. And that is not. What about over here? No. One side's grounded. The other side's good. <clears throat> Not shorted there. Grounded there. Only one side shorted here and here. That is very, very promising. Let's go over to this BQ chip. Ground not grounded there that's not ground that is uh, what about over here only one side is, is connected to ground that's good okay that looks really good about over here by the uh, the port itself Try to get that back in focus. Um, that's like, ooh, that is like five volts in right there. There's your, there's your fuse right here in the picture. So, okay, our fuse is good, right? It is. So I think what we've got is, um, uh, well, I say five volts. It could be up to, um, uh, what is it, twelve volts? on a switch. I can't remember what it negotiates if it's 12 or I think it's 15 actually. It will negotiate up to 15 volts for charging. Um, I think it just internally shorted the ground in this connector. It's folded back and it's, touched, it's touching the metal frame of the connector up in here somewhere. So I think that's why that's shorted the ground right there. So I think we pull this connector off and we'll see that short right there go away. Let's hope so.
All right, let's check to see if we have a short still. Uh, well, on the other side of the board, where the fuse is, right there. We had a short earlier. So do I have a short from here to here? I do not. Reached about 510 ohms with the red probe on ground and the black probe on that fuse. So yeah, yeah, I think we're good. I think that was the source of our short. Um, let's get another port on here and hope for the best. connector is on um, I have not soldered the anchor points of the connector so I'm going to try to see if it will charge at this point I got the battery connected you got the boards but the board is just sitting in the chassis here I didn't really bother hooking anything up other than the battery because I want to know if it tries to charge it um, but I gotta be careful about plugging this in because there's no uh, no anchor points soldered on this USB-C let's see what happens this is uh, using the uh, original Nintendo charger connected to the uh, USB ammeter here. Let's see, okay, that didn't charge. Let me reverse over here. There we go. Yep, we negotiated 15 volts. That's good. That means it's talking to the M92 chip. Not really drawing any current though. Hmm, that could be an issue. Let me turn this over the other way and see if it still negotiates the 15 volts. It does. She's not really drawing any current though. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I said I connected the battery. It's not connected, it's just sitting there. Oops. All right, let me try this again. Now the battery's connected. Now maybe she'll draw some current. 13 milliamps, 7 milliamps. All right, we are very, very slow charging, I believe, because this battery is probably dead. Um, let's see, can I get a measurement on that battery? I didn't actually bother to check it yet. Because my leads are all twisted together. All right, check right. Do I have that thing all the way down? Nope. Still didn't have the battery snapped in all the way. 
what do we measure? 2.9. That's pretty low. 2.92. And rising very slowly. 2.93. 2.94. Okay, I think we're charging just extremely slow, but we're charging at 15 volts, so I believe the N92 is working. So I think I'll slip this together and let's see if we're getting a display and that kind of stuff. And I need to solder those anchor points before I forget about it and put it all back together and then I will be very mad at myself if I did that without soldering those anchor points. Well, I have the uh, console assembled enough to test, I believe. I don't have every screw back in it, but I've got quite a few. Um, I do need to remember to hook this battery up this time. Let's see. Make sure Wi-Fi connections are good. Come on, battery. Cooperate. So close. All right, now, I think she's down. Okay. The moment of truth. Are we charging? We are 0.48, and we have a battery logo. Excellent. Um, so the, the M92 is working. If, if it's negotiating a 15 volt charge off the original Nintendo charger, that's working. 0.47 sounds like a normal, you know, slow charging current for this thing. So let's. Um, Let's let it charge a little bit and see if she cuts on. The battery you know, was, was really low, so it, it could take a little while for it to actually turn on. But we got that battery symbol. That's a good sign. Uh, well, I walked off to uh, do something else, and I noticed the display is cut off. So I wonder if it's at the point of uh, it's ready to turn on. I see the current's at 0.5. Let's just see if it will turn on at this point. Where is that button? Uh, should be that one. There we go. 2%. And we have touch. We have sound. Excellent. 2% in charging. Drawing 0.67 amps. Okay. So I think this is going to be a success. Um, not a very overcomplicated repair, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. It needed to be done. So if you uh, enjoyed that in any way, thought it was entertaining or... Uh, informative please give me a thumbs up and i will see you in the next repair bye for now